Zoom. Who would like to start us off? Coach, you faced a very aggressive defense tonight. Can you just speak to how you felt that Connecticut played against you guys defensively? No, it seems like we were surprised by Connecticut's aggression for, for some reason. Um, you know, we didn't see anything that we didn't think we were going to see. We just, we just didn't handle it. You know, we just turned it over like crazy. Uh, so awfully, awfully disappointing. Um, after a game like that, do you kind of talk things over with your players, or do you let like the veterans talk in the locker room? Yeah, How's that go? I mean, it's it's a it's a collective with this group. Um, we've had hard times before. We've gotten smacked before. We were zero and six. This team always gets up. We're not going to not get up, and we have to figure out some things. We got to figure out. Um, again, most of what we saw was not a surprise to us. And for some reason, our execution was, was uh, you know, really at both ends, just not where it needs to be to win a playoff game, especially against these guys. Any more questions in the room? Um, what are you hoping that the team is able to accomplish or put together over the next few days um, before the second uh game of the series on sunday um i mean obviously we'll you know they'll spend some time we'll watch watch the game um you know kind of sucks having three days before you play again you know we have to we have to feel it for three days and you know players don't want to spend two days practicing of those three days right so the schedule really stinks you know playoff schedule stinks um i think in terms of um maybe studying the video have some some points that in, in terms of our offense and our defense that we've already talked about uh, how we can each do better um whether it's getting people off the off the three-point line um whether it's how you handle you know pick and roll the toughness that you play with those are all the that, that are controllable and uh that's certainly what's going to be the the focal point and um you know, try to try to get them you know, some actions that they can be you know, successful at. You know, it wasn't all bad. You know, certainly, uh, but you know, too many, too many um, you know, wide open threes. We'll head over to the Zoom. Start with Kent. Head to Rafike, then Jack and Alexa. Was 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 they came out shooting threes right from the get go. Um, yeah, the bank three. Uh, Hayes started the game with a bank three. Yep. Yeah. Um, and this is a team that didn't particularly shoot a lot of threes. Uh, were you surprised at that, or was it just a matter of they were hitting them and they were getting them and you weren't closing out or nothing, they just kept shooting them? Well, I think once a team, you know, kind of, you know, really started, yeah, they don't shoot a lot from there, but once they started uh, doing that, um, you know, there, there were a couple hard ones that we kind of go, we're going to live with those. Um, there were ones that we were standing right in front of somebody six feet off of them and kind of dared them to shoot good shooters that we just, you just can't do, um, personnel tendencies, you know, that was sort of lacking for us, but, you know, they threw a bunch in, I mean, you know, Kent, you weren't an arena, uh, but, um, even the putt went in. <laughs> yeah. They showed that on TV. <laughs> so, uh, but I mean, but does it really starts with the turnovers, right? I mean, oh, there's no question. I mean, that was awful, just awful. You know, I mean, thirty points off turnovers was not. You know, that's like we we understand that what Connecticut is capable of doing. Give them credit for how they come out and 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 how aggressive they were. And uh, for some reason, we were surprised by that. And uh, you know, we've we've got to we just got to be more ready for it, and we've got to be able to answer physically. You know, there was no question in our minds that you got to be physically and mentally tough when you when you play um, in the playoffs, and then certainly when you play the Connecticut Sun. Uh, it, it looked like the the two rookies. It was kind of an education for them tonight on just the level of intensity that this game gets played at in the playoffs. Do you expect them to kind of maybe make a bigger jump uh, from game one to two now that they've been through it? 
I do. Um, it's been one of the, the things that we really focused on is let, letting those players experience these moments. Um, there's, there's a growth mindset for our team. Uh, we stated that when we started the season and, and putting these guys in these situations and playoff games, incredibly valuable. And we'll see what they can do from game one to game two. Uh, but it was, it's well beyond those two uh, that, that's going to be necessary for us to be successful. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Kim. Ralph Ike. We can't hear you. Ralph Ike, are you, are you muted? Now, can you hear me now? Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go, Rafika. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nafisa Collier and Caleb McBride did everything they could offensively, but not enough offense for the rest of the team. Right? What are some of their takeaways from the overall team performance in tonight's loss? Um, we actually we need better play from our star players. Um, came back had a great. Uh, great first half, and then it just, it was just what she wasn't getting much help. And uh, so Collier's got to play much better. She will. I mean, this is, this is probably one of the, uh, the locker room is really disappointed, but probably the one most disappointed was probably would be Fee in terms of her own play. Um, she will bounce back. She will be better. And then when she's better, then it's a little bit easier for K-Mag, a little bit easier for the others. We got we to gotta get some stuff out of Mitchell. We got to get stuff out of Carlton. You know, Bantam, Bantam was was solid for us, so we got we just got to get a little more uh, from everybody else. You know, they did. You know, their their bench at halftime had 17 points off the bench. And they, uh, you know, we didn't we didn't get as much. So we need help from everywhere, but our star players have to, you know, play play uh, play better, and they know that. Yeah, and they. So, and um, Damian Miller's first WBA playoff game of her career. Like, what do you talk to her about as far as getting used to playing under the playoff atmosphere? Who is this? Damian M Miller. Diamond Miller? Diamond Miller, yeah. Yeah, so, Diamond. Uh, Diamond and Dorka, I mean, I, I don't think the atmosphere was anything they weren't, you know, sort of used to. They both have played at a, at a high level. And we've been in, you know, we've been in arenas. I, I think it's more just the um, – I don't. I don't necessarily think that you know Connecticut did anything they didn't do in the regular season. I, I just, for whatever reason, um, I don't know. Maybe the, you know, the, the the idea that it was a playoff game. I, I don't. I don't know. I can't speak to, um, you know, why we just look like we weren't ready to go to another gear. You know, do we have another gear? We have to, we're going to have to find that out about ourselves because that's what's necessary. That's what we talk about a lot. That's what we talked about with Diamonds. We talked about Dorka. Um, you know, really as a team, you know, this team hasn't, hasn't experienced this together. So that was a, a lot of learning going on in that, in that game that um, we're going to have to try to, you know, we have to have some solves and, and uh, be not much, much, much better in the next 40 minutes. That's a, that's a great thing about this. I mean, it's, I know it's cliche. It's a, you know, it's our minds, it's a 120 minute series. And, and for, you know, 40 minutes didn't go very well. We've watched a lot of NBA games, WNBA games, where somebody gets smacked by 30. And then the next game that they play, the same team that just won by 30 loses by 30. That can happen. That can happen to anybody, right? So uh, the highs are high in a playoff series and the lows are low. And so we're low. And, and, and obviously Connecticut is high. And so that's the, that's the beauty of a series, you know, is the ups and the downs. And, and just even throughout the game. And so we're on to the next 40 minutes. That's our mindset. And, and uh, we'll see if we can be better. Appreciate the insight. Good luck in game two. Thank you. Head to Jack, then Alexa. Hey, Cheryl. It seemed like there was a lot of, um, you know, catching the ball and then waiting for two or three or four seconds before players made a decision whether they wanted to dribble or pass. Um, you know, how do you go about trying to, you know, improve that? Uh, that area of the, of the game on offense. I think that's confidence. I think they were, uh, you know, we kind of hung in there, you know, came back lit a little bit, kind of got us, 
you know, got us settled, right? The beginning of the game, I fully expected it was going to be as it, as it was. We weathered that storm, kind of got back in it, um, took the leap. And uh, then we just had a stretch there where, you know, I think we would just each, just start to turn it over, just try to dribble places and AT sticks her hand in there and steals it, hedge us, you know, jump out on us on screens, whatever. And, and you know, we kept putting ourselves in that situation, which just didn't make a lot of sense. And, and I think then, then it became, we were unsure what we wanted to do. That's what it looked like to me. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of conviction in those, those stretches. I thought in the, you know, when, when we got down, um, you know, we were down 20 and we kept trying to battle back. It was 15 and we, we had the ball um, and, and, and we ended up turning it over. Yeah, but we had, we had chances where I thought we were starting to get a little more rhythm to what we were doing. And that's the thing about a series or, you know, about the course of a game, you collect knowledge about things that you can maybe use in the next game. Uh, and so there, there were some good things that happened that we'll, we'll try to, we'll try to focus and bring out a little bit more, but ultimately we've got to be confident in what we're doing. And, and like I said, we need more, you know, the players that didn't necessarily bring it today. I know that they're disappointed and we're, and we're just all going to work really hard and, you know, try to bring it on Sunday. Thank you. Good luck in game two. Thanks, Jack. Alexa. Hi, Cheryl. Um, you've talked about how disappointed Fee was in herself. What, uh, in your perspective, was what she had trouble with most today? Was it just how the sun were defending her or something else that comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not anything she hasn't seen. I mean, just the last couple of games, really. Just uh, the, focus, the focus that is on her, you know, how to navigate uh, when she's in the paint. Uh, I also think that, you know, she's got to be able to score all three levels. And right now she's only focused on one. Um, so we're, we're going to help her, you know, identify uh, ways to, to get easier offense and, and not so much pressure on, on uh, her only scoring, you know, in the RA. So um, she'll be better. And, and uh, you know, again, fee, fee's never awful. Um, you know, she was, she's always at least pretty darn solid and, and she fought and battled her way. You know, uh, but it's a player that wants to play better for us. Thank you. You're welcome. Any final questions? Cheryl, you mentioned the Sun Bench earlier. Um, could you just speak to the impact that they were able to have for the Sun, uh, particularly Ty Harris? Yeah, Ty Harris was big. Um, she was big the last time we played them. Um, we let her. We let her hit a couple threes. Um, you know, despite knowing. You know that's that's something she's really good at. She had a you know she had a tough one in front of our bench that you go okay if you if you make them take those threes and they make them, you know maybe it's their night. But uh, it's it's the open ones that you know we stop short. You know the the short closeout on shooters is is just one of those things that's really frustrating uh, for our scout coaches in, in particular when the, the amount of work that we spend in in sharing things and and we let her get going and 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 so she was. She was highly effective for them, had a, had a nice game. Thank you.